Hey, this is Wes. In this quick video, we're gonna take a look at one of the top things you need to know about baking normal maps in Substance Painter so that you do not get artifacts like this. Let's take a look. So here we are in Substance Painter and have this really simple object, this Lego brick, and I have baked my normal. And here you can see that on the edges, I have this, uh, these artifacts, this, uh, this kind of dark line here. So let's take a look at the actual bake itself. So we're gonna come over to our texture set settings. I'll click bake mesh maps, and it's gonna take me here to uh, the baking tools. And I'm just baking my normal map, as you can see here. Now in Substance Painter, I have this baking visualization panel, and this gives me lots of good information about my model. This is also a really good way to set the max frontal and rear distance settings uh, from a visual standpoint. Now, the section I really want to pay attention to is this part on UV seams, and you can see that it's saying missing seams on hard edges. And this is going to be the key thing to understand about baking normal maps. Whenever you have a smoothing split or a hard edge on your model, you need to have a corresponding UV split with padding. And that is exactly what this setting is indicating here in Substance Painter. It's highlighting the areas of my model where I have a smoothing split or hard edge. However, the UV seams for this hard edge are actually continuous or connected, and that is what causes these artifacts that you see here in the normal map bake. Here in Blender, you can see that my mesh has hard edges or smoothing splits. Now, if we look at the corresponding UVs, the UVs are continuous or connected. If we look at the vertex normals, we can see that the vertex normal is split at this hard edge. The GPU sees this as two vertices. With this split, you get a gap or missing data between the vertices when the ray is traced for baking the normal map. Because of this gap or missing data, you get the black line artifacts, which is caused from the UVs being continuous at this hard edge. Now, one solution could be to smooth the hard edges and use a single smoothing group. This will average the vertex normal and close any data gaps, which means no black line artifacts. This works where you have matching continuous UVs. A benefit is that the GPU is not having to split vertices for smoothing splits, so you end up lowering the vertex count for game assets. However, the resulting normal map will have some extreme gradients to compensate for the average normals, and this can cause some compression issues. You could also add some additional control edges to help alleviate any shading issues. So if you're using a single smoothing group, it's vital that you use the same tangent basis. Now, Substance Painter uses MCT tangent basis, which is the same for both Unity and Unreal. And this provides a nice synced workflow. It's also a good idea to go ahead and triangulate the mesh before you do the bake and then use that same triangulated mesh inside of your game engine. Now, the option that I mostly use is just to make sure that when I have a hard edge or a smoothing split, that I have a corresponding UV split with padding. This workflow will provide a nice, clean result without edge artifacts. And you can see the normal map itself has very few gradients as the sharp edges are controlling the shading. You also don't need to be synced with the same tangent basis. Again, this does increase vertex count on the GPU due to the splitting of the smoothing groups and UV shells, so you do need to take that into consideration. One last thing to mention is that if you are using Unreal Engine and baking your normal map in Painter, you need to make sure that you enable Compute Tangent Space per Fragment in the project settings. So that's going to take care of this video. The big takeaway is just to make sure that if you do have a smoothing split, just make sure you have a corresponding UV split with padding and you'll be good to go. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.